Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to do this underwater composition in Photoshop and of course with the help of Adobe Illustrator. This is a little bit more elaborated. We got a lot of layers going on and uh, I'm going to show you how to mask these and how to assemble it eventually. I also going to leave all the stock images down in the description. They're for free. You can download them and assemble them. Also, if you want to boost your skills in Photoshop, I want to share with you Nick Peterson, who's an award-winning designer in Photoshop. In this course, he teaches you how to create elaborate, realistic digital compositions with a strong and meaningful message. Using Photoshop, learn Nick's professional techniques for creating award-winning digital collages. Creating something correct in Photoshop is not easy. You need to understand the principles of composition, perspective, lighting, shading, retouching, and a lot more. Discover how to apply special effects using blending modes for shadows, highlights, and other other techniques for enhancing your project. Close the course by learning how Nick finishes his images and prepares them for digital mediums from social media to large-scale prints. To find out more, click the link in the description and join the course. Now let's get back to our tutorial. All right, so first step, we're going to start in Adobe Illustrator. So you can select your logo, you can select your text, whatever you like. I'm going to paint this a gray and I'm going to go to the effects. 3D materials, extrude and bevel. So these options are really new. We're in Adobe Illustrator 2022. So the options look something like this. We got 3D and material. I also gonna activate the render with ray tracing, click on it. So this way it's gonna look somewhat more realistic. I gonna make it something like this. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I like this. So we got the depth. I gonna increase the depth. There you go, we got the bevel. I'm gonna activate, switch the bevel and I'm gonna manipulate the width. I'm gonna decrease the width actually. We also got the height. I'm gonna go to the materials. And as you can see, we got here the materials. If I scroll this down, we got all sort of materials here and I'm gonna choose the, what is that? This one, the Kalakata, I don't know what is that. So it's gonna look something like this. And this is it. I'm going to select it and press Ctrl C, go to Photoshop. And here I'm going to press Ctrl V. I'm going to select the smart object, click OK. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up somewhat. Something in this dim dimension, sorry. OK, double click, it's going to release it. So I'm going to uncheck it and now I'm going to, you know, imp import the images I need. So I'm going to go to the folder. I'm going to select this image. Basically, this is the water. I'm going to need this element here, basically, that uh, separates the water from uh, the sky. I'm just going to drag and drop here. I'm going to press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. I'm going to double click. Okay, from here, all we need is basically this element here, this water something. So I'm going to go to the menu and select the... What is this? quick selection tool and make sure that you're on the plus here. I'm going to increase the brush size a little. And I'm going to start selecting, you know, the bubbles basically. Okay, so after you select it, just go here, select and mask. And we're going to check it out. As you can see, it looks really bad, these areas. And I'm going to select the refine edge brush tool and make sure it's on the plus. And I'm just going to go here and make these smooth. Okay, it looks something like this. I'm going to go down here to the OK, click OK. And I'm going to go to the layers and click on mask here. So the next image is uh, the squirrel thing. So as you can see, this is a horizontal image. I mean a vertical image. Sorry, I'm just going to drag and drop here and I'm going to Start working this out. I'm going to put this, put this here, press and hold shift, scale it up a little. I'm going to drag it down, double click. I'm going to drag this layer under the water like so. I'm going to press and hold alt and I'm going to create a new copy. Press and hold shift also to isolate it. I'm going to put it side by side. I'm going to press control T, right click and go flip horizontal. Double click. So this way we got some more interesting coral going on. So this was the best way to do it. But also I'm going to do a little bit 
more manipulation on this. So I'm going to select. So the, basically this is the coral image and this one. And I'm going to press and hold shift select both. And I'm going to pull this some around here. Okay, I'm going to see which is the middle one. This one is. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it. Also press shift. I'm going to pull it here. Control T, right click horizontal, double click release. And now we got some interesting coral going on, uh, an image that uh, doesn't exist yet. So it looks something like this. I actually gonna delete this fish. Where is that? So I'm gonna select the image with the composition. So this is the one I'm gonna select this image and I'm gonna go and select the patch tool. Okay, select the fish. and just click on it. As you can see, it shows this icon because it's a smart object. If you click on it, it's going to show this. Click OK and now you can drag and select this area. So now the fish disappeared. So I get all these corals now and I'm going to put them into a folder. I'm going to create a new folder with this. Click. I'm going to rename it. Double click. Drag it down. Select all the coral images and drag and drop into the folder. Now you can close the folder. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to press and hold control and click on this thumbnail with the mask. So it's going to highlight this and click on the coral and click on the mask. So now we're going to need to paint this back, of course, the coral. So click on the coral. Uh, what is that mask? I'm going to select the brush. Make sure that you're on the white. And this way you can paint back whatever you like. You're going to paint back some of these areas. I'm going to increase the hardness. And voila. Now we're going to make the sky. So the sky is going to be this one. I'm going to drag and drop in, scale it up. You can stretch it if you want. Double click release. I'm going to drag the sky under the coral. I'm also planning to change the color of the sky a little. So I'm going to go to the adjustment layers, select the color balance. I'm going to push the cyan a little bit up, the yellow a little bit up. So you're going to look more warm. Everything is melting together here. It's a little bit of problematic. So basically this is the sky. I'm going to create a new layer. Click on the new layer. I'm going to rename it. It says, uh, I don't know, glow. There you go. I'm going to select the white color. I'm going to select the brush, increase the brush size, make sure that the harness is on zero and I'm going to make it bigger. Now I'm going to paint this zone more white, you know, and I'm going to decrease the opacity somewhere around, I don't know. Let me check it. So this was zero. I'm going to increase it to somewhere around 50. There you go. This is good. Now I'm going to activate the text, the 3D text, which is here. I'm going to activate it. As you can see, nothing appears because it's right in the back. I'm going to drag it up beyond the glow. So it looks something like this. I don't like it. I'm going to drag it. So this is the color balance that we created. We adjusted the sky. I'm going to drag it under the text. So we get the text color back to normal. I'm going to click on the text, arrange it something like this. It's going to go somewhere here. I'm going to create a new copy, drag and drop the text into the little plus. I'm going to drag this new text right above, you know, the corals. So as you can see, the coral is under now and we got this. This is on the top. We got basically the 3D text right here. This, this is going to be the second one. This is going to be the bigger one that we're going to create. So I'm going to press Control T. Press and hold shift plus alt and scale this text up because underwater things are magnified. Okay. I'm going to double click on this. It's going to release it. And now we got the coral. Uh, what is this mask? I'm going to press and hold control and click on the coral mask thumbnail. So it's going to select this area. I'm going to go to the select invert. So now it highlighted this area and I'm going to mask, you know, the 3D text. Click on mask. I'm going to click on the mask of this 3D text that we created because we're still going to need to erase these areas. So I'm going to select the brush, select the black, and now it's going to remove some of those areas. 
Okay, so we got the corals. As you can see, I want to put the text behind the corals and I'm going to uncheck the text right now and we got the corals. Let me see where are, so these are the corals, right? I'm going to go and let me see which is which. This one, this coral, I'm going to select it and select the quick selection tool. I'm going to go to the plus and select this one. I'm going to select this one good and now we got the coral and i'm going to activate the text i'm going to go click on what is that the mask and i'm going to select the brush here is the brush select the black color and now you can delete these areas see that i'm going to press ctrl d and now the text is behind the coral now i'm going to select some little animal for example we got a shark in here we also got other fish types. I'm going to go with a fish. I'm going to drag and drop the fish. Double click release like that. And I'm going to select the quick selection tool. Select the fish. Perfect. And I'm going to put a mask on the fish. Click on click here. Now it's masked. Actually, as you can see, the edges are a little bit black in here, which is kind of bad. So I'm going to go select a mask. Select the refine, refine edge brush tool and just go on the edges a little. Now I'm going to drag the little fish some around here. I don't even know. I'm going to go with this area. Press Control T. Shift plus Alt, scale it down. This is good. This is a bigger fish, big fat fish. I'm gonna drag the shark. <laughs> the small, the shark is the same size as 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 the little fish, but anyways, the fish is like more closer to the camera. Okay, so now we're gonna need to change the color to blue because right now this is gray and everything has its own color, and we need to make it on the same page. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, press Control and select the coral um, mask, click on it, so basically it highlights this area, and now we're gonna go to the adjustment layers and click. On the color balance I'm gonna go back to the layer as you can see we got it selected you know this area and the color balance I'm gonna double click it and now I can adjust only this section only the water I'm gonna make it like that I'm gonna go back to the layer press and hold control I'm gonna go to the color to the what is that to the color balance uh, I'm going to go and press press and hold control and click on the color balance uh, mask. So it's going to highlight it like this. I'm going to go to the adjustment layers and I'm going to select the curves. And I'm going to add a little bit of contrast in here underwater. So yeah, this is it. Uh, you know, it's a pretty elaborated, uh, you know, project. You can add all kind of fishes in there. You can add everything. So at least you know how to do a composition. These are the layers for it. It's a little bit more complex. What can I say? But this is still a simple project. So yeah, this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.